Hey, what's up, everybody? It's another week of SR Synth Weekly, and if you don't know who I am, I'm the Synth Redneck. And uh, if you haven't been here before, welcome. Uh, I showcase a lot of great artists, and uh, got some great ones today. Got some new ones, got some old ones, and we're gonna just jump right in. So first up today, we have a dark wave group, a really awesome group. Uh, and I'm gonna screw up the name. It's Al Alterity. Uh, this group is based out of all over the place. Uh, it's they're out of Michigan, Finland, Boston, and Sandra Bullet out of uh, Portugal, and uh, I mean a whole lot of it. Uh, this song is just a pretty cool, you know, just a great beginning of uh, you know beginning of the week. Let me read their description on what they do. Um, the song is a, is a, inspired by classic horror horror films of the '90s, dark wave bands, and the blood of many men falling to a vampiric mistress. So I I went looking and I started feeling a lot of. Uh, a lot of different things that I saw uh, when I was doing my searches this week. Uh, I wanted to. I'm going to start with. It's kind of like this title sequence of a you know a sexy vampire movie, and I don't mean like sexy as in you know the grindhouse type. I'm talking about like the one where the where the vampire is a seductress and you know she keeps herself young by you know seducing and killing the you know other men or other other people. Uh, that's kind of what I started with. I mean, it kind of gives me that feeling of it's like a kind of title sequence. You see her first showing up, and she's like in a club or in somewhere, and you see her seducing a man um, or woman, uh, depending on <clears throat> the scene. And, you know, they do the whole seduction deal and the club deal, and then they go back and she kills it. Uh, you know, and, she, and you see her getting young or, you know, keeping her, keeping her uh, youthful appearance. That's, that's kind of what I started out with. Uh, also, kind of gives me, I know they want to say the 90s horror with the van, but it also kind of gives me that witch movie. Um, and, I, and I mean by this, by the, um, you know, the kind of like the craft, uh, but a little bit uh, better production. No, um, it kind of gives you that feeling with, uh, with the, uh, like the witches just gained all their powers. They figured out how to do things. And you see them going around, uh, you know, the, I wanna, I'll just use the graveyards or, you know, in the woods and stuff, just using their powers and becoming high off of it. Uh, you know, by like the, the, just because of, you know, they become high off their power and everything they go, it's like a whole big setup, you know, they're uh, just, you know, just uh, using the powers and getting it all together and just having a great time, you know, f finding out their powers and doing everything at once together. Uh, that's what I feel. Um, let me know what you think, as always, uh, in the comments below, and uh, and always let me know what you think in the, of the song. Uh, like I said, we're going to start out today with our alterity, and the song is called A Sinister Night Out. Shaking 
So which one did you think? I mean, uh, do you want? Do you like the vampire seductress version or do you like the uh, witch? Uh, the song itself can work in a lot of different ways. Uh, I, I chose those two because that's kind of where I was leaning at. Uh, but it kind of works on any kind of like horror angst kind of movie. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Moving on, uh, we have, uh, next up we have ne <clears throat> Knight Rider 87. Uh, they're out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, the song today is Star Conquest. Uh, this one kind of gave me, I used the Star, Star Con Conquest as a good start because it, it works. Uh, it kind of gives me that um, Starship movies. You know, it's, it's kind of like a scene in the, in the sci-fi where the a battle's been raging and everything. And, you know, they're kind of at the middle of the battle and just the, the good guys are getting battered. And all of a sudden the hero shows up and the hero ship uh, shows up and just starts, you know, tur do it, turning the tide and, you know, reveling everybody in the, you know, battering, beating the other, the evil down. Uh, that, that's kind of where I started. Uh, next, I mean, the other one kind of gives me... I call this a tracker movie. Um, also, uh, the reason I say that is because I'm calling it a tracker movie. It's like kind of like a cyborg tracker movie uh, in a title sequence, kind of like where the uh, cyborgs being <clears throat> being tracked and they're running and hiding uh, by like the humans or by the corporations that they're that they're fleeing from. Uh, I kind of got that feel. Um, I can't think of a good movie that it. I couldn't think of a good title movie. I, I had it in my head, but I can't remember any of it uh, today. You know, I have no memory because I'm my brain. I'm, my brain doesn't work all the time. Uh, that's kind of what it gives me. Also, kind of gives me that uh, climax of a uh, where a hero finds, you know, a, a weapon or a solution to a problem, and you know, he, you know, puts it all together finally and finds the weapon and goes fights the evil. Kind of gives me that whole feel of all three of those. I mean, you could actually put that in the same movie, um, you know, where the cyborgs are running from a tracker and the hero shows up after they're being beaten. You know, kind of kind of works out on all three. Uh, but check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, the song, the group is uh, again is uh, Night Rider eight or seven, and the and the song is called Star Conquest.
like I said, it kind of works out for both, and kind of you can actually put that in all in one movie uh, and have that song as the main title. Um, so give them a listen and follow their social media. It's a uh, really great, really great group, um, and it's just a uh, really awesome music. So next up today we have Jeff McCall. <clears throat> Sorry, um, out of Cambridge, UK. Uh, it's a synth pop group, and the song today uh, that that I'm using is "After the Peace." Uh, I'm going to read his uh, description and then I'll add mine. Um, it explores the senseless growth of violence from small beginnings to global catastrophe. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't find anything on, on my own brain set that could go with that, uh, so I kind of added my own little thing, uh, but I think it works. Um, it's kind of like a end of movie outro where the hero and team kind of finished and win and learning... Um, <clears throat> And leaving the area and kind of like a happy note, uh, even though this, even though the song's not a really happy deal, it's a, but it kind of leaves them in a happy note in a dystopian future, you know that, you know they can they can think about what happened and as they're leaving, you know at least they're together, uh, kind of deal and you know uh, just think about past transgressions into the uh, brighter future that might be happening. Uh, it kind of gives me that. Also, kind of gives me the. Um, feelings of the, like an 80s fantasy. Uh, it's kind of like where the main group is flying through space and come across an item or, uh, you know, an orb or something, you know, kind of something like that. They bring it in and it kind of gives them that, um, where it'll show them a new world and, you know, a future that could happen or a future that will happen or has happened. And they got, and they're gone, and you know that's showing them if they don't change it, it'll, it'll, uh, you know, it will come to fruition. Uh, it kind of gives me that, uh, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, here's here's where you start, and here's where you're going to end, so you got to fix it. Kind of gives me both of those. Uh, actually, you could use that in the same movie. You know, um, you know they've they've they finished up, um, and they're leaving. You know, after they've already got the you know orb and everything, they've already f fixed the future. So it kind of gives me that. Um, it's, it's a really great song, and like I said, follow the rest of their stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, here it is. It's uh, Jeff McCall, and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, After the Peace.
like I said, it kind of gives you that, you know, feel of if you don't change, you know, here, here's the orb. If you don't change the future, uh, you know, some bad will happen and they do. So uh, let me know what you think in, in the comments below. And as always, you know, follow their social media, follow their music, you know, stream their music. Uh, and if you like it, download it because that's that's what we're here for, is, you know, you know, the love of music and to help them out, you know, and help you out find the new artist that needs to be heard. Uh, next up today, we have Heartbeat Hero. Now, this is going to be a little different uh, because I actually put two parts of, of the song on there. Uh, the, so the main song is called Neo. Uh, but I actually added the intro to the, to the album on there because uh, I'm a weirdo and I like hearing my name on, a, on an album. Um, <laughs> No, I, I just thought the intro was cool, and it goes into the main song, Nero. Nero. Um, and it's kind of a, it's a really cool um, synthwave track. It's, it's one of those future space kind of type, um, <clears throat> in, my, in my opinion. Uh, it's kind of like where the hero first shows up in his vehicle, or, you know, it could be on Earth or, or you know, on another planet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And, and he takes off into in the high-speed location, either up in space and hyperspace, or, you know, he's got, like, you know, Turbo Pursuit on Kit. No, um, <laughs> something like that. Uh, it also kind of gives me that adventure movie where the hero's shown up after, uh, after, after the group is being beaten, and the hero shows up and just dismantles the evil, and everybody's, you know, in awe about it, and, you know, he just dismantles it one by one, and it kind of gives it a whole sequence. Uh, actually, like I, like I said before, he could, actually, he could show up in the vehicle. You see him first showing up on the vehicle, and uh, beating the first at the at the first part of the sequence. So uh, check it out. It's a uh, heartbeat hero, and it's the intro and the so main song Nero. So here's a track by Heartbeat Hero. I've got a new song from Heartbeat Hero, which I'm really liking at the moment. It's called Digital Emotion. You just heard from Heartbeat Hero. Consistently throughout the year has produced some excellent tracks. Uh, next up, we have Heartbeat Hero.
like I said, it kind of gives you that whole vehicle, you know, the hero showing up in his vehicle and blasting off in sequence, and, you know, he shows up at the, like a beginning sequence and just decimated as a group that was getting pinned down. Um, definitely check it out on social media and download the latest album, because I actually have it, and it's really awesome. So uh, give it a listen, and uh, make sure you follow him. Next up, we have uh, Must End. Um, the song today is called The End. Uh, they're a synthwave synthpop group out of New York City. Uh, let me read the description, then I'm going to add mine. Uh, it's, it's where humanoids question the inevitable end and what went wrong. Uh, I kind of want a little different side on that. Um, I chose a cyberpunk movie, uh, kind of like a dystopian cyberpunk, uh, you know, where technology takes over. And this kind of gives me that feel where uh, two lovers from two different worlds uh, you know, they're finally getting able to meet, you know, two different worlds or, you know, they've been a long distance and it's been kind of been a back and forth between them and they finally get to meet and it kind of gives you that whole feeling of it and they finally get to figure out who they are and, you know, see each other for the first time in, in real life. Also kind of gives me that an outro where, you know, just after the fall of the an evil structure and the hero and group of all, um, uh, uh, see a new future ahead of them. Uh, that's kind of what I feel like. It kind of gives me that, you know, after, after battle, you know, the future, the future looks bleak, uh, bleak now, but actually growing, uh, even though, you know, with the evil falling. And I say evil structure because I, I was thinking fortress again. Um, but uh, it could be, it could work on anything where an evil has fallen. The whole, you know, the whole um, resistance is one. And they're just looking at the future and saying, okay, what, what next? So that's kind of gives me that feel. Um, so let me know what you think as always. And here it is. It's a uh, must end. And the song is called the end.
So what kind of vibe does that give you? Does that give you the, you know, distant lovers or does that kind of give you a, you know, a, you know, we're at the end and what happens now? Um, or, or something completely different? Just let me know what you think in the comments because it's a really good song and uh, uh, it's just, you know, I, I like to hear what you think. Uh, next up we have North Innsbruck, North Innsbruck and um, I've played them before uh, out of Minnesota. Really great uh, kind of synth wave group. Uh, they could do a little bit. They do a lot of everything. It's kind of I kind of like more of a cine wave of it. Uh, the song today is called Origin, and I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, you'll see you'll see the name in the description. Uh, I'm gonna read their description and move, then show mine as always. It's a fast-paced progressive uh, used as a track for a sci-fi cyberpunk photo narrative series. Jane Doe. Um, uh, Chris, if I'm saying that wrong, let me know. Uh, I kind of get this as a, you know, a evil is risen kind of deal and, you know, and after devastation, you know, the evil's devastated everything, destroyed the whole city or, you know, has taken over the world and a band of resistance fighters or, you know, kind of gives you that climax where the resistance is being formed and they're all thinking about what's going to happen next as they're forming and a hero rises. Kind of gives me that feel. Um, also kind of gives me that the main hero is coming out of the ashes. Um, after a devastating, uh, you know, he's, he's thinking back at the climax where a uh, sad part of the movie, you know, where the, the evil or the bad guy has uh, kidnapped or killed uh, the secondary character or his love interest. And he's having to think about that as he comes out of the ashes and just, you know, moves on. And he has to deal with it and take on the darkness. Um, kind of gives me that vibe the most. It kind of gives me that he's thinking about or, you know, the evil has just killed him and left and he's having to, you know, deal with the either the kidnapping or the death um, and then try to figure out how to come out of that and move on. So, like I said, let me know what you think on it. Um, I kind of lean more towards that, uh, but everybody, everybody has their opinion and I, I want to hear it. So check it out. It's North Innsbruck and the song is called Origin.
So what do you think of the song? What kind of vibe does it give you? Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Also, go to the, uh, of all the other bands and all the other episodes, uh, let them know what you think of the song in their, in their accounts, uh, their Twitter accounts and their Instagram, you know, whatever. Let, let them know what you think of the song. If you liked it, uh, also, uh, how about download it for them so they can uh, uh, continue to make the music. Uh, next up, uh, I'm sorry, this is going to be the last one for today. Uh, I'm using this as a cool, cool ending. Um, it's going to be Miles Matrix, and it's a, he's a synthweb outrun kind of guy, uh, kind of music. And the song today, I'm going to screw this up, it's a Campari Soda. I hope I say that right. Uh, I'm going to read his description because we're going to be completely different. So... So uh, let, me, let me give you his description on it, then I'll add mine. Um, it's enjoying a, ref a refreshing drink after a thunderstorm that brought relief from the heat. I went the other direction. Um, <laughs> because I couldn't think of anything that, you know, that would work with re refreshing soda. So, so it kind of just threw me off. Uh, so I had to go with just start looking and I found kind of an idea. Um, so, I'm going to, towards the beginning of the song, it kind of gives me that, uh, you know, a team is racing uh, to, you know, either program uh, something uh, or, you know, build, rebuilding something and they're racing against the clock. Uh, and it just kind of gives you that, uh, you know, they got to beat the evil, but they're racing against the clock. They got to program it, you know, like program a virus or a program, you know, rebuild something, and then they finally do it, and when they finally get to the clock, they race the clock, to, uh, they beat the clock, and, and they go and act, and, it, and it, they decimate the, uh, the evil or the virus or whatever they need to. Uh, also, kind of gives me <clears throat> the heroes down, uh, you know, he's got a virus or he's got something wrong, and the team is rushing. Uh, to find the cure, uh, they find it, and he's uh, he's able to get cured by it, or you know, it could be like a virus in his own cybernetic systems or anything. Uh, but it kind of it gets cured, and he's backed up, and you see him, you know, getting back to better, and he goes and uh, goes on to defeat the enemy. Uh, this one gave me a little extra one too, because it kind of lives me that uh, evil is beating the hero. You can, he's just, you know, they're fighting in a fight scene. And the hero finally starts to understand, uh, you know, some of the lessons he was taught and some of the back, you know, you, you see like flashbacks into it. And he's all of a sudden, he's like, oh, I get it now. And he's, he starts beating, you know, he starts to turn the tides on the fight. Uh, all of those kind of work. It actually could work in the same movie. Uh, but the song just said, it just gave me those vibes. Uh, but like I said, uh, let me know what you think in the comments and, uh, check it out. It's, uh, Miles Matrix and the song is called Compare Soda.
like I said, it kind of gives me that kind of vibe, you know, just the heroes racing against the clock and they finally get to a solution deal. Uh, let me know what you think, though. I, and many, there's many opinions on that. Uh, but that's it for this week. Um, I hope everybody liked everything. Um, like I always say, make sure you're following them on their uh, social accounts, visit their websites, you know, uh, download their music, you know, stream their, stream their music and everything else. Uh, just make sure you're supporting the artist um, so they can keep going. I hope uh, everybody likes this show because we're about to hit the number 20 and I'm always looking for new music. Uh, I'm actually going to um, add on to the genre. I'm not just going to add synths from, from mo moving on um, because synthwave and everything else and nostalgia is working out. But the synth is also, you know, you know, you can, there's synth in other genres. So I'm gonna start adding everything. Um, if you're a musician, if you're an artist and you like my show and you've been afraid to uh, send in music because you think it's not, you know, what I'm looking for, um, here's, my, here's, my, here's my main thing. If it's music, send it. If it's you beating a kettle drum and that's all you're doing, don't send it. Um, if it's, I don't, I don't care if it has guitar tracks in it, if it has, you know, you know, if it's just pure pop, if it's J-pop, uh, um, if it's, you know, industrial, whatever. If it's music, send it to me because I want, I want to play it. Um, people need to hear it. Uh, the only thing I ask is that, uh, you know, keep it under, keep it under eight minutes. Uh, but I hope everybody likes it. I hope every, everybody's enjoying my show. Um, as always, like and subscribe. Uh, that that keeps that keeps you notified and um, when it, when it comes out weekly, and I hope everybody has a great week and I'll see you next week probably burned because I will be at the races this weekend. So everybody have a great week and I'll see you all next week. Bye.